Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm an international student. I studied computer science and I applied to about 240 job application in order to get my first internship. So I'm here to share uh, what worked for me, what didn't work for me, and how you guys can get yourself ready for the tech, tech job market, especially if you're an international student, because uh, we do have uh, additional layer of you know difficulty there because uh, a lot of company don't want to sponsor so i'll also kind of talk about how to find those kind of companies right so let's jump right into the video uh, i do want to address the elephant in the room though which is the current job market the tech market uh, i guess job market in general it's it's a, it's in a very shaky position especially with ai a lot of scam recruiting happening on linkedin where they're just trying to steal your information and a lot of like uh, out of date uh uh, job posting that people apply to and never get a response from it really takes like mental toll in our like, everyday life uh, it is definitely very stressful but i do think that with the correct uh, steps we can uh, kind of land our first job or internship uh, and there is definitely hope i think the uh, job market has gotten maybe a little bit better i'm starting to see like uh, people posting their job update in linkedin uh, so i definitely think it's better than what it was like a year ago or maybe you know six seven months ago um yeah so let's jump right into the video i do have like a list here so i guess the first tip i have is to get extremely good at lead coding system design all that interview kind of stuff before you even start applying you have to be in a position where you are comfortable to give a, give a lead code interview, to give a system design interview, or to give a behavioral interview, right? Because what's the point of spending so much time applying to jobs without like um, boosting your skills? Uh, let's say you get a get a job interview and then you're not able to answer the coding question. So that's like really the wasted opportunity there, right? And read every resources you find online and you don't necessarily have to purchase anything like lead code premium or anything. There's plenty of resource that just like free there, uh, a lot of coding resource. So don't get overwhelmed by a lot of uh, people who are trying to sell you courses and stuff. Do the regular lead code, that's fine. And look up the glass door for what kind of questions the company uh, have been asking. Cause usually so a lot of times people do pose the question in the last door interview section like what kind of question uh you know people are getting in the interview so if there's any company that you're interested in you got an interview right uh there you can get the question and then you can kind of look it up on chat gpt or you know um uh, there will be a ton of resources there so and and that's something i struggle with too like i i have an interview with meta and i had it in january but then i pushed it to march because i want to you know, touch up on my lead coding skills, but I, because it's been so while since I lead coded, you know, that I don't remember like a lot of patterns. So, um, you know, be in a position where you feel very confident that let's say if you get an interview, which is so hard to get, that you have, you feel prepared and you have all the skill set that you need to kind of excel the interview, right? Because after that, it's just a job offer that's remaining. So yeah, that's my number one. Um, that's the number one feedback. The second is like, to exhaust all the college resource, the best thing about being a student is that you have access to so many college resources. You have access to their alumni. You have asked access to the uh, department there that might probably be also hiring the professor who might have contact with the industries that are hiring. So uh, try to reach out to literally everyone. You have to be a little bit extra <laughs> uh, or like, you know, talk to professor. And sometimes they have research position position if you're interested in research uh, sometimes they can just hire you from that so just like uh, leveraging the college resources that's that's not available to a lot of people uh, so that's my second um, second tip and that also includes like uh, college um, college fair right the recruiter fair that happens in the college uh, although i was not very lucky because all of the companies that came to my college fair they didn't hire international students it was in mississippi so i wasn't that surprised um, but I bet for like a lot of American people or, uh, you know, if, if the companies are, if the college wasn't up north, probably there'll be a lot of, or like in California, there'll be a lot of uh, opening for international students even. Uh, so yeah, second tip is to just like exhaust all the college resource. And let's see, once you do that, the third thing is obviously to kind of exhaust the online resources. <laughs> so you know, reach out to people on LinkedIn wherever you want to work uh, you know look up the people if, if there's anything common like if someone's from so i reached out to someone who is from nepal it's like you know that's a common thing that we have so i was like you know hey i'm from nepal also in tech so would like to connect blah blah and sometimes it leads to good conversation sometimes people don't answer and that's completely fine but at least we're trying our best right 
So, and also go to conferences, attend events, uh, cause that's how I kind of got my first internship is I, um, I reached out to someone on LinkedIn. He was working, um, as a data engineer there and I wanted to work as a software engineer intern there. So I was like, Hey, you know, like, I think I fit the position and da, da, da. And I sent my resume to him and he was like, this resume is not that, you know, he didn't say it that way, but he was like, you can probably improve this resume. So I updated my resume. So it's kind of helpful to have kind of that kind of person too, right? Uh, who's like critiquing uh, to make sure you succeed, um, you know? So it's, it's also hard to find such people. So you just have to like keep keep uh, messaging until you find that person. Um, so yeah, that, that person helped me out a lot. And then uh, after that, I after I gave the interview with that company, um, you know, that person referred me and I got the interview. Um, and... Uh, right next the the next day of the interview was like uh, i i gave my interview on thursday and the saturday was a hackathon going on in boston so um i attended the hackathon in boston and the recruiter was there so she was one of the like uh, you know the company was sponsoring that hackathon and she was there so i talked more uh, to her and i think that also kind of you know gave her a vibe that you know i was like a more um you know, I was involved in tech world or like I, I, you know, was probably a good fit. So <clears throat> a day later on Monday, I received like a job offer. So I, I don't know what played a role, you know, but I think it was all of that. So you really have to maximize your chances of getting lucky, um, you know, and just, just do everything you can. Um, and um, I feel like with these days with like the fraud, I have heard so much about the fraud posting on LinkedIn, which is like insane. Uh, so don't fall for it. I would I, I would say just go um, apply to if you find a job in the LinkedIn posting, I usually sort it by uh, past 24 hours because uh, I feel like that all, that that's the only thing that works. All other are like out of date or, you know, uh, doesn't even apply. So I sorted by past 24 hours and then I go to the company website. Not I don't apply it on LinkedIn, but go to the company website and then apply. Because a lot of time the posting would not be in the company website, which means the job is already gone or filled or the position is no longer available. Yes. Applying to like local jobs or the jobs in the state. So, you know, I, I went to college in Mississippi and then I... Uh, uh, a lot of my friends kind of got a job in the Mississippi area. You know, they apply to a lot of like uh, uh, state, uh, I don't know, all, all over the state, but like in Mississippi. And I think that kind of, you know, you are given a priority if you graduated from University of Mississippi, right? So I think that's like a good place to start. And then, uh, you know, I think I would keep that as a safe option. Um, so uh, maybe it's uh, an IT department near school as well. Or, you know, maybe an IT department in a different school, but in a in the same state. So I think there's a, more chances. And sometimes the professors are even connected and, you know, that way you can go. Um, but yeah, uh, and then after that, apply to uh, industrial jobs or like wherever, you know, you want to apply to online, handshake. Um, yeah, usually try to get a referral uh, and try to find someone who can like refer you in a proper way. I think there's... A, Referral is not even working anymore is what I've heard. Like unless someone's like actually putting their soul into referring you, uh, it's not working because everyone has referral basically right? and there's less job opening. But obviously referral definitely helps. Um, uh, the other thing I want to mention is going to like conferences and stuff. And I, I know it can be very expensive. So the way I um, I um, when I was in school, I was obviously broke and, you know, I didn't have money. So I used to go to my campus department. I'd be like, hey, I want to attend this hackathon. Can you send me? And uh, uh, there was one time that I went to Stanford hackathon and the Stanford uh, uh, Stanford paid me. They reimbursed my flight Stanford, but like there were other expenses, uh, outstanding expenses that my, my college was able to pay because I just simply asked and they had the funding to send me to Stanford. So, you know, uh, try to try to like talk to everybody, go ask for funding, like don't be ashamed, you know. The worst thing that doesn't happen is they're going to say no. Um, so that's literally what I did. I'm just like asking random people, even if, you know, I don't know, <laughs> even if it was an awkward conversation, got to do what you got to do, right? And yeah, uh, for a lot of people, uh, don't lie about your, like if you would require a work authorization or like sponsorship in future, uh, just say, um, say yes if you want sponsorship or if you are an international student, right? Because they're going to find it out eventually. And uh you know, you'd want to want you'd want to work for somebody who who would want you regardless of your status. And you know, if they are like um, rejecting you based on you know if you wanted a sponsorship or not, given that maybe it's a company policy 
or anything, you know, it's it's fine, right? You wouldn't want to spend your time there. So spend your time wisely. Apply to companies that um, do hire international students. And you can like easily look up there, like how many people uh, they have petitioned for the green card and stuff in the in online. So yeah, that that's my recommendation, and uh, um, it's definitely challenging. But uh, uh, like, go to uh, tech events if it's happening in your you know in your city. You don't have to go to expensive conferences. Um, if you find like a real nice tech uh, group in the city itself, you know, um, try to go to meetup events. Like uh, there are a lot of tech events. Like I'm in Chicago. We have like a JavaScript and Python meetup. Um, and let me know if you want, uh, you know, you if you are from Chicago and want to connect, we can definitely go to a JavaScript meetup together or something like that. And yeah, uh, just uh, keep upskilling and uh, work on side projects, like working on uh, uh, AI projects, you know, have have something interesting in your resume uh and uh, yeah so first upskill yourself and then you have good interview experience like interview you know be interview ready and then just apply and i, I wish you all the luck it's it's definitely not easy but i know you'll get get through it bye